Hi, I'm Mrs. S. I teach kindergarten here at Monarch Academy. Um, I'm going to show you today how easy it is to make rabbit ears with your little ones. How many rabbit ears do we need to make our for a rabbit? <coughs> Two. Uh, all you need is paper, scissors, and crayons. The first thing you do is fold your paper. We call this hot dog style versus hamburger style. So we want it tall and thin. Fold your paper. Now, if your child is ready to start cutting, then you can draw the lines on there for them, or you can um, cut it out yourself. So you can draw it first if you feel more comfortable, or you could just draw with your scissors as you cut them out for them. You want to make sure if they're cutting that they hold the paper together and cut through both pieces at one time. You also want to make sure that their thumb is in the small hole of the scissors, their fingers are in the, uh, in the larger hole, and that their thumb is pointed up towards the ceiling. A lot of times they'll want to kind of twist it this way. You want to correct them if they're cutting. So once your bunny ears are cut, we have our little rabbit ears, and these are good for, this year is Year of the Rabbit, so that's why we're doing it. You could do it for Easter as well. So when you get your rabbit ears, the first thing we're going to do is draw a circle in the middle. Now, if a circle is stretched out, it's not called a circle anymore. What's it called? Who remembers the word? An oval. I'm gonna give you one each to start, and then I'll give you your second one. Make your bunny ears really unique, and then I'll show you how to get them attached onto our strip. So then I give them a strip, uh, a sentence strip, and we decorate the sentence strip, and we simply glue them onto the sentence strip. I usually size around their head and then you can either tape i use a staple and just staple the back and then they'll have their little bunny ears what's going to happen is you're going to get a strip like this and first thing you're going to do is glue your ears on when you glue your ears on don't put glue all over the whole back of your ear because if i did that and put it down what would happen it would glue onto the to the board or your table, right? Make sure that this goes down to the bottom because if you glue it up too high, it'll like flop down too much. Once you have your rabbit ears all ready, simply wrap it around, give it a pinch in the back, and you can either tape it, glue it, or I like to just give it a couple staples. And then you have your rabbit ears.